Hello guys and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you could solve the problem or the error message appearing you need to format the device. So whenever you plug your external hard disk, your SSD or even your USB, it always asks you to format the device but even by clicking format it tells you that Windows could not format the device and you realize that you cannot use your device. If it's that the case with you, then this video might help you to solve that problem. So first let's allocate or let's see our USB or hard disk. So we need to know exact the exact size of our USB. So here I have 14.6.7 gigabit. Next you need to go to your search tab in Windows 7, 8 or 10 and you type create and format hard disk partitions. We will open create and format hard disk partition. This window will appear. It will take a few seconds to load. Now the next thing which we will do, we will just click on inside our, uh, inside this little panel of the USB or the hard disk or the SSD, which is concerned one, and we'll click with the right button of the mouse and we'll select delete volume. We will select yes. Deleting the volume will lead that you will lose all the data. So before you proceed with this solution, please make sure that you, there is no important data because once erased, the data cannot be recovered. Next, we will, we will go back again and we'll click new simple volume and we'll click next. We'll just basically keep clicking next and you can assign a letter, for example, F to our drive letter and click next. We'll just name it success and we'll just click next. The second option will format your hard disk or your SSD or USB and that's what we want. Click next, leave all the parameters by default and click finish. The operation will take few seconds to few minutes to even 15 minutes based on how big is your SSD or hard disk and also how fast the read and write uh, parameters of the device. Once done, you will see that your USB or your hard disk or storage device is accessible and you can use it and send data from and to it. Now enjoy your your device if you still didn't manage to fix this problem using the solution please write us a comment or send us an email with a full description and any error code error, error codes if appearing and we will do our best to help you if you would like to encourage us you can always click like share and do not forget to subscribe to get our latest videos thank you guys for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial